So this video will cover opening a new project and a new job within Trimble Access. So the first thing that we need to do is open up a new project, which will, can be a repository for multiple job files and will normally be a complete project as allocated by a client. So from the main menu, we go into new and we name the project, which will normally be a specific um, location and job name. So we could put our job reference if this had a job reference in there as well. We can also use any of the other fields as required. We create the project. As soon as we've created the project, we're immediately invited to open a new job within the project. However, if I've only opened up a new project, then we can always just go back into the new project and we can hit new to open a new job. We can name the job. So I will give it a sensible name. And we generally will always have templates set up. And generally there's always two that are being used in the UK. I choose scale factor one if I'm using a total station normally. Um, and I'm using if I'm using GNSS, then I'm choosing Ordnance Survey. And we can specify that these templates can have all different settings um, saved to them. If I choose scale factor one for a total station, then we can see the scale factor is set to one. It's a coordinate system. In units, there is an importance. There are many important settings, but one critical setting is uh, the coordinate order. And if we're reading in CSV files, then it's important that this coordinate order matches the coordinate order within the CSV file. We can also allocate a feature library. So if we wanted to use a feature library, then we can select it here and select our feature library. Under the field additional settings, if we click here, there's some useful features in here. So one of the most useful is we can assign point names to be used within job files. So if we have multiple field crews on site, we can set a minimum and maximum point name for each field crew to make sure that they're not overlapping in their point names. The other thing that we can set here is we can set the next point names that will be used in this, in this project. So that can be stipulated from the last used job and we, or we can take it from the template and then we can say that the next points, standard measure points will start from X, the next observed control points will start from Y and so on. Once we've set all these um, settings, then we can choose accept and the project is now open and the job is now open, ready to start surveying. 